Good day, this is teacher Riza and this is our lesson 10 for quarter 3 in statistics and probability, mean and variance of sampling distribution. With learning competencies, finds the mean and variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean. And defines the sampling distribution of the sample mean for normal population when the variance is known or unknown. Before we start, let us review our previous lesson which are related in our topic. First, we have sampling distribution. Where in sampling distribution is the probability distribution when all possible samples of size n are repeatedly drawn from a population. And mean, which is also known as the average, is calculated by dividing the sum of the observations by the total number of observations. Variance is the average of the squared deviations from the mean. It is being denoted by S squared which means sample variance and sigma squared means population variance. And standard deviation is the square root of the variance wherein S is the standard deviation sample and sigma is the standard deviation population. The sample mean and population mean can be calculated as follows. For sample mean, we have x bar is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub n divided by n. Or that is the summation of all the values of x divided by n. Wherein x bar means sample mean x sub i means values of the observations in the sample, and n is the total number of observations in the sample. While population mean is mu is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 to x sub n divided by capital letter N, or that is the summation of all the values of x divided by N, wherein mu means population mean, x sub i means values of the observ observations in the sample and capital letter N is the total number of observations in the population. The sample variance and population variance can be calculated also as follows. For sample variance, we have S squared is equal to the summation of the square of the difference of the sample and the mean divided by n minus 1. And for sample standard deviation, that is the square root of the summation of the square root of the sample and sample mean divided by n minus 1, or that is the square root of the sample variance, which is the square root of s squared. The population variance and population standard deviation can be also calculated in for population variance we have sigma squared is equal to the summation of the square of the difference of the sample and population mean divided by n and for the population standard deviation we have sigma is equal to the summation of the square of the sample minus population mean divided by n or that is the square root of sigma squared or the square root of the, pop the population variance. For example, find the sample standard deviation and variance of the following, following heights in centimeter of 10 Miana plants. That is for centimeter, 12 centimeter, 14, 15, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, and 25 centimeter. So first step, we're going to arrange the values in increasing order, that is from lowest to highest. So first, we're going to write 4 cm, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
and 25. Then after that, we're going to get the summation of all the samples, so that's equal to 160. Then for second step, we're going to compute the sample means using x bar is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 to x sub n divided by n, wherein the samples are 4 plus 12 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 20 plus 25 divided by the number of sample which is 10. And that is equal to 160 divided by 10 which is also equal to 16. Or this is simply using x bar is equal to the summation of all the values of x divided by n. Since we're, we have already the values of the sum of all the values of x in our table, so that's equal to 160 divided by the number of sample, which is equal to 10. So 160 divided by 10 is equal to 16. So therefore, the sample mean is equal to 16. Then for third step, Get the individual deviations from the mean, that is x minus x bar. So, that means we're going to subtract the value of mean to the samples, that is 4 minus mean, which is 16, is equal to negative 12. Then next, we have 12 minus the mean, 16 is equal to negative 4. And 14 minus 16 is equal to negative 2. 15 minus 16 is equal to negative 1. 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. 17 minus 16 is equal to 1. 18 minus 16 is equal to 2. 19 minus 16 is equal to 3. 20 minus 16 is equal to 4. 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. So we have already the difference of the sample and the sample mean. Then for fourth step, we're going to square each division obtained in the second column and write the result in the third column. So we're going to add one more column. That is for the square of the difference of the sample and the sample mean. So we're going to square the values obtained for the second column. That is negative 12 squared is equal to 144. The difference for the next one is negative 4, then squared it, so we have 16. Then next we have negative 2 squared is equal to 4. And negative 1 squared is equal to 1. 0 squared is equal to 0. And 1 squared is equal to 1. 2 squared is equal to 4. And 3 squared is equal to 9. 4 squared is equal to 16 and 9 squared is equal to 81. So after squaring the values obtained for the second column, we're now going to get the sum. So that is equal to 276. So adding 144 to 81 is equal to 276. Then for the next step, divide the sum obtained in step by n minus 1 to get the sample variance that is s squared is equal to the summation of the square of the difference of the sample and sample mean divided by n minus 1 wherein the summation is equal to 276 and sample is 10 minus 1 so that's equal to 276 divided by 9 is equal to 30 0.67 so therefore the sample of variance is 30.67 thus the sample standard deviation can be obtained using the formula in finding for the standard deviation that is the square root of the summation of the square of the sample and sample mean divided by n minus 1 wherein the summation is 276 divided by 9 this is equal to 30.67 and the square root of 30.67 is equal to 5.54. Or, we simply use the formula in finding for the standard deviation, that is the square root of the variance, wherein the sample of variance is 30.67, and the square root of 30.67 is equal to 5.54. 
So therefore, the standard deviation is equal to 5.54. We have also an alternate solution for that. When more observations are included in the data set and we want to minimize the deviation, we can use the formulas for sample variance. We have S squared is equal to N times the summation of X squared minus the summation of X squared divided by the value of N times N minus 1. And for stand, sample standard deviation, we have S is equal to the square root of the product of N and the summation of X squared minus summation of X squared divided by N times N minus 1. Or that is simply S is equal to the square root of the sample variance, which is S squared. So from our previous problem, about the height of the Miano plants given for 12 to 25. So we're going to use the same problem to compare the answer and to compare the solution, which is easier for you to use to solve the problem. For step one, using the second method, so we're going to still arrange the values in increasing order. Since we already arranged this from lowest to highest so we will have 4 to 25 then get the summation which is equal to 160 then for the second step we're going to square the samples that is x squared so we're going now to square each sample so the first sample is 4 4 squared is equal to 16 then we're going to square the second sample that is 12 squared is equal to 144 and 14 squared is equal to 196, 15 squared is equal to 225, 16 squared is equal to 256, 17 squared is equal to 289, 18 squared is equal to 324, 19 squared is equal to 361, 20 squared is equal to 400, and 25 squared is equal to 625. Then after that, we're going to get the summation of x squared. So add 16 plus 144 plus 196 plus 225 plus 256 plus 289 plus 324 plus 361 plus 400 and 625. That is equal to 2,836. So the summation of x squared is equal to 2,836. Then next step. We're going now to use the formula in finding for the sample variance that is the value of n which is 10 then times the summation of x squared which is 2,836 minus the summation of x is equal to 160 then squared then divided by n which is 10 n times n minus 1. So we have now S squared is equal to 10 times 2,836 minus 160 squared times divided by 10 times 9. We're in 10 times 2,836 equal to 283,600 minus 160 squared is equal to 25,600 divided by 10 times 9 is equal to 90. Subtracting 280. 3,600 minus 25,600 is equal to, divided by 90 is equal to 30.67. And for the standard deviation, get the square root of the value of the sample variance. So that is 30.67. The square root of 30.67 is equal to 5.54. So therefore, we have the same answer using the first method. Well, in the sample variance, 30.67. And the standard deviation is 5.54. Example number two. Find the sample variance and sample standard deviation of 10 students score in quiz B given the set of data below. We have 9, 10, 12, 14, 14, 16, 18, 18, 
19 and 20. So using the second method, we're going now to write the given or the samples for the first column which is arranged from lowest to highest. So first we're going to write down 9, 10, 12, 14, 14, 16, 18, 18, 19, 20 and get the summation of all the values of x adding 9 to 20 is equal to 150. The next step we're going to squared each sample that is x squared so 9 squared is equal to 81 10 squared is equal to 100 12 squared is equal to 144 14 squared is equal to 196 14 squared is equal to 196 also 16 squared is equal to 256 18 squared is equal to 324 same with this 18 squared 324 then 19 squared is equal to 361 and 20 squared is equal to 400. Then get the summation, add all 81 plus 100 plus 144 plus 196 plus 196 plus 256 plus 324 plus 324 plus 361 plus 400 and that's equal to 2382. Now to find for that sample variance we're going to use s squared is equal to n which is 10 and the summation of x squared which is 2382 minus the summation of x which is 150 then squared divided by n which is also 10 minus n minus 1 so that's 10 minus 1 so we have now the sample variance is equal to 10 times 2382 minus 150 squared divided by 10 times 10 minus 1 where in 10 times 2382 is 23,820 and 150 squared is equal to 22,500 and 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 so that's 10 times 9 so subtracting 23,820 and 22,500 that is equal to 1,320 and 10 times 9 is equal to 90. So 1320 divided by 90 is equal to 14.67. So therefore the sample variance is equal to 14.67. And to get for the standard deviation, we're now going to use s is equal to s squared, wherein the sample variance is equal to 14.67. And the square root of 14.67 is equal to 3.83. So therefore, the standard deviation is equal to 3.83 and sample variance is equal to 14.67. For activity 1, you're going to solve the following problems completely. So 1, you're going to find the sample mean and sample variance by completing the table. Write down the values of x from lowest to highest then square each sample show your solution then write down the sample mean sample variant and the sample standard deviation same with problem number two complete the table and so for sample mean sample variant and sample standard deviation and for your activity two you're going to write down what you have learned from this lesson so again before we end let me remind you to protect yourself and your loved ones from coronavirus following these simple steps from the World Health Organization. So again, thank you. This is Teacher Riza. Always saying stay healthy and stay at home. Keep safe everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you.